Let's see how to run a load test with Jenkins CI/CD plugin provided by LoadFocus. Here we have installed Jenkins on our local machine. What we need to do now is to need to go to Manage Jenkins and find the LoadFocus CI/CD plugin and install it on our local Jenkins instance. To do that we click on the left sidebar on Manage Jenkins and from there we click on Manage Plugins and in the Available tab we look for Load Focus Load Testing CI/CD. We tick the checkbox next to it and then we click Install without Restart button. Next step is to add the Load Focus API key to the credentials on our local Jenkins instance. To do that we go to Load Focus website in the Account section and we click on the API Keys tab and we copy the current API key from there. Now back in the Load Focus API key section, we passed the API key and we test that it actually works. We can see that it's working and now we go to create our first Jenkins job. Let's create a freestyle project and uh, in the configuration of this pre freestyle project, we can go to the post build actions and select load testing by loadfocus.com action plugin. Here in the test name field, you can see all the tests created on the load focus platform. So we can select one of these load tests that we previously created and ran on the load focus platform. And now we have to define which are the metrics that will make our build unstable, failed or passed. So the first one is the errors percentage. We can give a percentage to make it unstable and a percentage to make the build failed. We can do the same for the response time. So we add the response time to make the build unstable and the response time to make the build failed. Now when you click build now, the test will automatically start when it hits the post build action. We don't have any other steps in this uh, project, so basically we'll run automatically our load test. Now we can go to the console output and check that the load test is running. First of all, we can see the test configuration, so we can see which are the metrics to make the build unstable and failed based on the error percentage and the response time for our load test. At the end, we can see the test results, the response time and the error percentage for the URL present in our load test. More metrics with charts and dashboards are available at the link present in the end at the end of the console. If we click that link, we open Open the whitelist report and we can print this PDF report easily by clicking the top left button. This is how you can integrate the load test functionality from Load Focus into your CI CD pipeline easily just by adding the Load Focus CI CD plugin.